Okay, so my video just rudely cut me off. Apparently, I do not have much storage space on my iPad. So I wasn't quite finished with this lesson, so I need to finish it. We had just talked about finding zeros when the problems were factored, and when they were factored, it was super easy to do it. But what if they're not factored? So if they're not factored, we have to factor them. So this takes us back to our previous lesson. So if I was to factor this problem, first thing I always look for is a GCF. And what do you think the GCF is to this? X squared. They all have the two X's. Okay, build your parentheses. Let's get this back. X squared times what makes X to the fourth? X squared. X squared times what makes 6X cubed? 6X. And X squared times what makes 8X squared? 8. Okay, so now I'm going to factor what's in the parentheses. There's three terms, 1, 2, 3. So I'm going to A times C rooftop, and it's the easy one. So 1 times 8 is 8. You want the numbers to add to make 6. And do you know what multiplies to make 8 and adds to make 6? 4 and 2. Okay, because it's the easy one, I can go straight to the parentheses, write down the letter I'm working with, and write down the numbers we found. Positive 4, positive 2. And then my x squared just comes down in the front. Now it's factored. Okay, so now it's just like all these others that are factored. I'm ready to find my zeros. Let's start with this one. What do you get if you solve x plus 2 equals 0? Negative 2. Okay. What do you get if you set x plus 4 equal to 0? Negative 4. Now, this one tricks people. So ignore the exponent. If you set x equal to 0, you just get x equals 0. And remember, the exponent just tells you how many times it happens. So this happens twice. So 0 has a multiplicity of 2. Just like when this exponent down here was a 3, we said it had a multiplicity of 3. Okay, let's look at 5. So 5 is not factored, so let's factor it. First thing up, do I have a GCF? I do. What is it? 3x. Okay, build your parentheses. Let's get it back. 3x times what is 3x cubed? x squared. 3x times what is negative 3x? Negative 1. Okay, let's look in our parentheses. In our parentheses, there's two terms. Well, when there's two terms, I want to see if it's a difference of squares. It is. It's got a minus, that has an even exponent, and one's a perfect square. These are the ones that factor with two sets of parentheses, one gets a plus, and one gets a minus. Now let's take the square roots. What's the square root of x squared? x, because x times x is x squared. And what's the square root of 1? 1, because one, 1 times 1 is 1. And then just drop down your GCF. Shoo! Okay, now that it's factored, we're ready to find our zeros. So, let's start with this back one. What do you get if you set x minus 1 equal to 0? A positive 1. What do you get when you set x plus 1 equal to 0? A negative 1. And then, what do you think you get if you set 3x equal to 0? 0. If I set 3x equal to 0, I'd have to undo the multiplication with division. So I would divide both sides by 3. And 0 divided by anything is 0. So those are my zeros. Nothing happens more than once, so nothing has to be said about multiplicity. Okay, and I think we'll stop there. So the only one I didn't do was number three, and you would have to factor. So I'm just going to make a note, have to factor. And once you got it factored, then it would just be like all the others. And that's it for this lesson. Smiley face.